Nowadays, it seems like most people seem to idolize other men. They idolize men who have done nothing for them in real life. Nothing except provide them with entertaining videos and try to sell them affiliate products. If a person you don't even know in real life can say some words into a mic or a phone and affect you emotionally, you're a pussy. Go to bed. Now, I enjoy preposterous shit. And if my video affected you in any way, if watching a random YouTube video about a comedian affected you emotionally, you're a little bitch. Sorry. Now I want to talk about why Brennan Schaub is a comedic genius and the gringo poppy is low-key brilliant. And also about why people seem to love to hate this man for no apparent reason. Now the gringo poppy is trimmed down to 25 minutes. First of all, most specials are an hour or more. And who wants to not laugh for a whole hour? In my opinion, I'd rather not laugh for 25 minutes than not laugh for a whole hour. So he's looking out for his fans with that math. Now, Brendan's life consists of a tug of war between two forces. On one side, superstardom. On the other, complete obscurity. And somehow he always shits the bed. He always just shits everywhere. You gotta love it how human the guy is. And there are also channels devoted to shitting on him and clowning him. Channels whose main purpose is to research his character flaws and make videos about them. All I know is without Brendan Schaub, a lot of people would be in desperate need of content. At a certain point, you just feel bad for the guy. He clearly has CTE, but is keeping it together. And he just makes you want to root for him. Not really watch his show or buy any of his products, but just hope, you, just hope he does well for himself. Now, who does he put his life on the line for? You. You idiots. So you idiots can make fun of him and his Mexican wife. If any of you have ever laughed at Brendan making a fool of himself, and somehow stumbling into a laugh, he deserves at least your respect. The same respect you have for that slow kid who signs up for the spelling bee, knowing he can't spell shit. The same respect for that stuttering kid who joined the debate team but can't formulate full sentences. He's trying, guys, so respect him for that. Now, Gringo Poppy was comedic gold and will be studied for decades to come. By people who enjoy a good laugh and people who enjoy a good laugh. If I had money, I would invest in Brendan Schaub. He's due for a win. He's taken so many L's and losses, it's impossible for it to last forever. Somehow the universe will reward him for all his attempts at trying to break into the biz. Now back to Gringo Poppy. It's definitely a one-time watch, so it's not a time suck. Why would a person want a classic performance that you could watch over and over again? It doesn't make sense to me. It sounds very time-consuming. So thanks for not wasting our time, Brendan. Have a great day.